Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 30th of, of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Today's farm is 992 subways with K different integers. I've said a lot the last couple of days about all these things, uh, all these like recent events. So today I'm just going to be a little bit lazy and just go straight to the farm almost. But uh, but apparently someone sent me a link earlier today about this like the code profiles thing on uh, Instagram. And apparently the one with me on it has like 1.3 million views. What the? This is like the first time I've gone viral before. And thankfully it is not, you know, <laughs> for something crazy that I did. And it's for kind of, you know, this channel. So uh, so if that's how you discover this channel, well, welcome, welcome. I uh, hope y'all <laughs> are here. Uh, I would say um, I, I've got a couple of comments about like, okay, how do I get started? Um, I'll probably put up some video specific about getting started, but uh, but also, you know, you can come join the Discord. The link is one of those sites uh, or like, you know, that's the link. Um, yeah, come come to the Discord and kind of just ha uh, chat with people. But, uh, but you know, you just have to get started. Um, as I always say, you know, especially... Um, you know, if you're able to pace yourself, set realistic goals, um, you know, like it, it's not, it, it's not impossible. It's not that bad. You just have to start somewhere. And lead code is a very good place for it because you can also just sort by like, you know, easiness or something like this. But I don't know, I don't know how to use this actually. But you could like just sort by easy, and then like ninety nine, like you know, you can maybe start with. I don't know if that's actually the easiest part, but there are things you can do, right? And there's also there are also lists, so you can kind of play around with. Um, different problems to kind of get started and don't be afraid to, you know, stumble a bit. I, uh, I've i been through it. Everyone you know who is helping you have been through it. Uh, <laughs> spending hours on a very silly problem. Uh, we've all been there before. Um, and I would, I would also give you a little bit, of, I don't know if this is extra motivation, but when I was do going through this, uh, we didn't even have Google. So I don't know, maybe that, dates me too much i am old but uh all right so yeah or discord or whatever um remember you don't have to do it alone uh there are people who are you know you just have to find a buddy or something and then just do it together and then you know push on yourself uh but yeah i'll, I'll probably do a video at some point just like on this topic but let's get today uh let's get to today's farm 992 sub arrays with k different integers Given an integer array nums and an integer k, we turn the number of good subarrays of nums. A good array is an array where the number of different integers in that array is exactly k. For example, da -da 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 -da, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so what are we trying to do? So this is a hard problem or like labeled hard, but um, you know, you have to think about these difficulty in context as well. The context being that you're not given any hints, right? Uh, like if you have, a, if you're on an interview, or, I mean, I guess an interview you could ask for hints, but, but depending on what you're trying to do, maybe that's not ideal. But I mean, it's better than not solving it for sure. But it is what it is. Um, but yeah, but but this is hard, assuming that you don't know what's coming up. Of course, the last couple of days, we've talked a lot about these sort of problems, sliding windows and what I call contributions. So definitely, you know, it's a little bit of a hint, isn't it? Uh, of like, okay, look, we're gonna see, solve the same-ish problem. So let's take a look. I mean, I'm, I just kind of, well, I always write energy on numbers, right? So, all right, let's play around here, right? And then the idea with contributions, and, and you know, we've been saying that all week, well, last couple of days anyway, is that, uh, um, you know, for for pointer, we have to think about what is the contribution, uh, and the contribution is if this element, or maybe I don't know if it's, if it's necessary, but this element it is the last element um, of the array or of the sub array. How many good, quote unquote, good sub arrays ends in this element, right? And of course, in this particular one, it could go one, two, one, right? So definitely Gucci. Uh, two, so that means that this, again, has three degrees of freedom, right? Be meaning that you have three choices to go to the left. Like, for example, you have one, two, one, and one, two, one. So that's three different subarrays, right? 
So, uh, so yeah, so we kind of basically just repeat the same thing here for two and the same thing for three. Three is a little bit tricky because now you cannot extend past one um, and you only get three and two. But yeah, but this is a very standard sliding window because um, the way that I like to think about it is just that, uh, let's say, you know, this is going to be the right and this is going to be the left. The right is just where the last point is. And as we move to the right, we, we, we're almost basically brute forcing that the left going to the right, you know, moving the left to the right and then just checking it every time, right? Whether that is still good. And, and yeah. And the reason why this idea of sliding windows work is that let's say you have another number in be before this, right? Um, let's go back to R here for a second. It means that this zero, this extra number, I don't know if it's zero, uh, let's just say four, right? This four um, cannot be pa part of the answer of the contribution of this two, right? And because of that, um, you also know that in a, you could say greedy, but also just really logic, right? Because if this four cannot be part of any subarrays that includes two, then it also cannot include three because by definition, or just by like how it is defined, that could only have uh, an increase uh, of of the number of distinct um, integers, right? So that's basically the idea. And here, and from that, we can start doing the uh, the sliding window. And uh, we'll probably do this. It, it's uh, I'm going to go a little bit fast, probably, but let me know in the comments if I am. But to be honest. The reason why I'm going a little bit fast and a little bit lazy today is because we've been doing this all week, the last couple of days. Even the code is starting to look the same, except for that one day where I misread it a little bit, my apologies. But, you know, you'll, you'll see that th this idea is the same, right? Like, now here we have total for the contribution instead of, like, a best for longest or shortest or whatever. Um, and here, again, I'm going to label this as left, right, inclusive bounds, right? Um, but, but not yet here, right? So... We have to kind of uh, factor this in, and again, we use a, a frequency table, right? Frequency look. So then, f of num sub right, we increment by one, and then now, now f contains all numbers, be um, or all indexes between left and right inclusively, right? Inclusively, yeah. And then now, then we ask again, same thing as yesterday. So. If you do have questions, maybe do yesterday's forms first. And yesterday, you can go to, uh, you know, two nine six two count subarrays where max element appears at least k times, right? Same thing that uh, we, we've been kind of doing for a bit. But and you know, you could kind of make that progression because if you're confused a little bit by what I'm doing now, um, then really just review the easier versions of these problems, right? Just, like, there's no reason that you should do a harder version when you don't have the basic for the uh the easier version you know i think those were mediums but yeah so then now same thing as yesterday which is that if length of f is greater than k that um and of course here length of f so before we did this increment um length of f is ex less than or equal to k and then here now again there are only two states right uh it's gonna be the same thing or uh, this is equal to k plus 1. So we want to kind of rule that out, and then we want to say f of num sub... Now, this code is actually exactly the same as yesterday, I think. Um, right? So uh, maybe the explanation is also the same as well. So actually, yeah, I think you should just look at yesterday's. And we'll do a comparison again. Uh, but yeah. And then if f of num sub left is equal to 0, we delete it. Uh, and again, this is from yesterday's. The idea is that you have to kind of remove the maps exa uh, explicitly because um, because zero, right? Uh, zero still exists as a key, and also in this case, uh, they could only the 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 other thing here. If you want to kind of um, keep in line with the fact that we've been kind of writing all these invariants here, we can say that f. Uh, f of x for all x is greater than zero, right? 
So then here, that means that the only thing that changed after we're subtracting one, the only number that can contain zero is this number. So that's why we delete it. After deleting it, this thing is still true. So this is this is also another loop invariant of this while loop, right? So yeah. And then now afterwards, uh, we can say total is, you know, we're trying to figure out well the number of degrees of freedom. If if R is here, then you know it. We can and choose four things, right? We can choose R, R minus one, R minus two, R minus three, dot dot dot, all the way to L, right? So basically, you're saying the left bound is going to be R, uh, R minus one, dot dot dot. Or another way to say it is the bound is going to be left, left plus one, left plus two, dot dot dot, and in total, it's going to be right minus left plus one. And that's pretty much it, unless I made another silly typo, which seems to happen quite a bit recently. So uh, it's either that or I just misunderstand this problem completely. Um, is it exactly? Did I? Oh, okay. I messed up because this should be exactly K and not just. Um, yeah, and not just. Um, Less than equal to. Okay, I actually misread that, but that's an easy fix. Yeah, because we just have to do something like this, and the cool thing, um, and you know, this gives us another chance to add or talk about an additional. Ooh, snappy. Did I mess this up? Hmm. Uh, another invariant is that if this thing is um here, if this is the k plus one case, then removing one thing will only go, let us go to length of f is less than or equal to k, or equal to k exactly, so that this will hold. But if you try to do it too early, then it will be... Um, then it will, you know, meaning that if it's less than k, then this just won't add up. Uh, okay, that's the idea anyway, but apparently I have some, uh, some issues. Am I like typing the wrong thing somewhere again? It seems like I, I've been kind of making a lot of silly mistakes, but uh, but let's kind of take a look. <sighs> Never an easy problem, is there? <laughs> okay, so right zero, that sounds right. Yeah. Hmm. So one is going to be two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, the degree of freedom is not exactly anymore. So sorry, I I kind of I I messed up here. Um, sorry, my apologies. Because I I, I kind of uh, well I just misread the problem as less than you go to k, which we can use this thing. But then now we have to think a little bit trickier, right? Um, <clears throat> maybe there are a couple of ways you can do it, but. Hmm. Because basically, what this function that I wrote now, what it does is that it gives us k. Because uh, I was hoping that this would fix it, but that's not true. Because um, this this calculation is wrong for the degree of freedom, right? Meaning that okay, let's say we have L R, and I, I misspoke here earlier. So, but you know, come come with my journey to kind of figure out where I misspoke. But the idea here is that um, you do not have four degrees of freedom because you have because um, two by itself is actually not a good subarray. I, I misread this earlier when I said it was a good subarray, and I kind of uh, kept going on that thread, but I was wrong. Um, yeah, because this is obviously this only has one different number, so it's not going to have exactly k different numbers, right? So there are a couple. Of, hmm, um, I think the uh, this is not easy to fix in this uh, in this case. So let me also kind of remove this real quick. So, so then now. What, what happens, right? Total contains uh, less than or equal to k, but but we want exactly k, right? So what can we do? Well, we can also subtract out all the things that... There, there, are, many, there are probably other ways to count this, um, but it's maybe not that easy. That's why I don't want to do it. But one way that you can think about it is that... Uh, this is not factorial. This is just exclamation mark. Ex just, just to be clear. <laughs> um, but yeah, but now here we can also subtract out, how do we get exactly k? 
Well, we get exactly k if we subtract out all the things that are k minus 1 or smaller, right? Um, so basically, this function, you can think about this total. Total is you go to, say, uh, let's just say f of, um, let's say this function is f, right and you have x and let's say f of x is you go to, or, or f of yeah f of x is you go to um the number of good sub arrays with exactly x right then the total is going to be you know f of one or f of zero i guess zero doesn't really come up but just for you know completion sake right Something like this, right? That, 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 plus f of k minus 1 plus f of k, right? Because that's what we calculated. Um, and this is, you know, this is exactly the same as yesterday's, really. So, right? Wait, what was yesterday? Just want to double check. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly the same. I mean, except for maybe the max element part, but the idea is mostly exactly the same, right? Um, yeah. And so then now, in order to get exactly f of k, is, you know, we just take this number. And then we subtract it by this number, right? So that's pretty much it. You have sub total minus this is you go to f of k. And how do we calculate this? Well, we already have this function. This function gets us k or less. So let, let's rewrite this, right? Let's say uh, def mm, what do you call it? sub arrays with k or less. I don't know, nums and then k, right? And then maybe we, you know, we, we kind of just shift this a little bit, right? So then now, uh, and then here, this is no longer true, or at least not, not as approximately. So then now we can return sub arrays with k or less uh, nums k minus the same thing, but k minus one. Um, yeah, there you go, one go, and there you go. I figure I misread it. All right, let me give it some mid and then hope. Okay, it is right. Yeah. Haven't done this in four years, huh? Did I do it right last time? I guess so. Oh, I did it. I did another type of sliding window last time. Hmm. I did. I, I was thinking about this direction. Uh, so definitely, if I have a video on this, check that out. But the idea there is the same thing as here, is that for for this idea, we want to um, find a number that gives us exactly k. But yeah, this that is a tricky idea to explain, so I'm not going to do it. Is it? But maybe it's good practice. But yeah, but this is um, a cleaner way of doing it. Um, and I do urge you to kind of think about it. Yeah. Uh, so what's the complexity here, right? So this this code is going to be O of n uh, time and O of n space. I'm not going to go over it that deeply, uh, right? We have an O of n loop. This thing is also O of n in total, so it's not multiplied, it's added, and it's O of n total. Uh, F is going to be O of n space, so this thing is O of n time and O of n space. Now, uh, this uh, the second call is also of n times of n space, so that's why. Uh, and you can maybe even say this is all k space, I guess, because it's limited by k elements, I suppose. However, we want to say it is fine, I, I, I guess. But yeah, uh, but we just do it, we run it again, so it's, it's the same. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have with this one. Let me actually like clean it up a little bit, right? That's all I have for this one. Um, yeah, if you want to check out my other solution, I hope the video on that one is good. It should be up. I mean, it's only four years ago, but it is just the idea of, uh, uh yeah, it, it basically tries to, uh, this is kind of, maybe I'll have to explain it another time. I have to think about, I mean, I was thinking about these lines by my, but in my head, I didn't fully draw it out quite a hundred percent, but, um. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, that's all I have for this one for today. Let me know what you think. Uh, I am going to do an extra bonus question as I normally do because, I don't know, why not? Just do an extra question. I'm trying to get my money's worth. So yeah, uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Happy Friday, happy Saturday, happy, you know, good Easter. Uh, good Easter, Easter Sunday and all these things. Good Friday, Easter, man, I'm... And I, I kind of forgot at the beginning. I should have said it at the beginning. But, uh, but yeah, that's all I have. 
Uh, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.